I feel like it's a blatant disrespect because um, all of those accusations and what have you, you know, I, how will they come and say that it's a mistaken area where we belong in the Timash and um, the area where we are occupying right now is not so something like that. But the, the, the um, what's his name, the commandant apparently does not know the difference. And um, like I said, we were born there, we grew there. And thankfully, my parents um, decided to to move in order to seek um, uh, an education for us, as that was not available in the area at the time. And thankfully, that that happened. Um, I am now here. I'm a school teacher. Um, I'm very happy for that. But every just let me make mention that every holiday, in fact, Easter holiday that just went by, all my holidays, Christmas vacation, and so on. I always return to the SARS tomb. That is home. I am comfortable there. That is where, and to see now, to hear over the news, you know, that they want to move us like that. We are Belizeans. Being born in the SARS tomb does not make us any less of a Belizean than somebody who was born here in Punta Gorda town. So I feel very disrespected, and I can just imagine how my grandfather feels about that. It's four generations back we're talking about his mother, my great-grandmother, him, my grandfather and his family, my uncles, that's the third generation, and myself. And not only myself, I have at least 10 or so cousins who were also born in the Sarstoon. And now, you know, we have professionals in the family, thanks to, for them who, who sought an education for us, that does not mean that we will abandon Sarstoon. Sarstoon is our home.